Okay, so here's some exciting news from Tesla. The title of this one says, Tesla is liquidating Model S and Model X inventory by the end of this month as refresh nears. What do you guys think? Tesla's been talking about refreshing the Model S and Model X since 2019. As you guys know, 2019 was uh, the time that Elon Musk said that they were going through production hell with the Model 3. Don't know if you guys know this or not, but majority of Teslas are built by machines. And Elon Musk actually at one point said that it's harder to set up manufacturing for vehicles than it is to send people to uh, outer space, which is pretty crazy to think about. But hey, I guess it's true. Um, but like I said, they've been talking about a refresh of the outside as well as the interior. A lot of people complain about Tesla saying that for the price tag, which you can spec a Model S to close to 150 grand, and uh, it's nowhere near what the interior of a Mercedes-Benz or a BMW are like. Uh, so a lot of people have been complaining about that and are hoping to see a refresh of both the body as well as the interior. Because personally, unless you're pretty familiar with Tesla, it would be pretty hard to tell the difference between a 2012 and a 2020 model, or even 2021 for that, for that matter. Um, but yeah, guys, Tesla is aiming to have zero inventory of the Model S or X by the end of this month. They sent out memos to all their staff to push to have all these cars uh, sold by the end of this month. So that can only mean that the refreshed models are coming very soon. What do you guys think? Have you guys heard of any uh, refreshes coming from Tesla? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, in December of 2020, Tesla made it a significantly long wait for the Model S and X. That's probably because they knew that they were going to be slowing down production in order to start vamping up the uh, production of this new refreshed model of the Tesla. Um, but yeah, if you go on their website now, it says uh, it's like a crazy long wait time for Model S and X. And then actually a little thing pops up and says, do you want to check out our existing inventory? Which is proving to show that Tesla is trying to push out what they already have and get rid of the cars that they've already produced uh, to make room for these new refreshed models. Um, but what do you guys think? A lot of people complained when the Model 3 came out about the build quality, about the body style of uh, or body panels not matching up. Do you guys have Teslas? What do you guys think? Have you had any issues with it? As far as I'm concerned, my mom's Model 3 has been flawless. Uh, both on the performance side as well as the um, the build of it. I've, I haven't noticed any issues um, with panels not lining up or the interior falling apart or anything like that. Um, but what do you guys think? There's actually videos uh, that you can watch that you that tell you what to look out for before you purchase a Tesla, which I think is, is pretty funny. Um, but I think they the, the interior of the Model 3s has gotten much better uh, since they came out. Uh, the Model Y also just came out with the seven passenger uh, version which you guys can actually order right now uh, so that was pretty exciting from tesla um, but what do you guys think do you think that they're going to be releasing a refreshed version of the model s and x like i said the model s has been out since 2012 and unless again you're pretty familiar with tesla it'd be difficult to know the difference between a 2012 version and a 2020 version now that's on the styling side on the on the software side i think it was a genius move on tesla's end because a 2012 version of the Model S and a 2021 version of the Model S can function the same because it's just a software update. So you just update your 2012 Model S and it can do and drive the exact same way that a 2020 um, version of the Model S can do. So what do you guys think? Is this a uh, ingenious way of producing cars for Tesla? Because I have a theory. So you guys know how they, when you're buying a Tesla, you can buy a performance version, you can buy a... Uh, rear rear wheel drive and that kind of thing. My theory is all Teslas are the exact same on the inside. For example, the Model 3, the long range, the performance, all the different variants of the Model 3 have the same exact components on the inside. All The only difference is the software updates that they release for you. So for example, you get the performance version. Uh, that performance version has uh, unlocked the software that allows it to perform at the performance version. Now, obviously, there's different wheels and brakes and all that kind of thing, but I'm talking about the motors and that kind of thing. Um, what do you guys think? I think that would be brilliant because then it would minimize having different production lines. You can have one straight line for the Model 3 and uh, just turn on and off things via software instead of making uh, physical changes to the car. So the reason I think that this is true is my mom's car has heated seats for the driver and passenger. However, the rear back seats... Uh, you have to purchase them for an additional $300, which we might do. But what I'm thinking is you hit purchase, 
and your car just updates and now that feature is available you don't actually go into the tesla dealership and have have them pull out the back seats and install seat warmers and that kind of thing that's my opinion that's what i think happens uh, as soon as i actually do uh actually as soon as i actually end up getting my mom's uh, rear seat warmers installed i'll let you guys know because i think that would be a great way of uh, producing cars having one version and just changing everything via software let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below